So what do you get when you buy the new Toyota Tacoma? That's right, this is the 2024 TRD Sport. And there's a bunch of stuff that was in the passenger floorboard, floor area, uh, when I left to bring the truck home. So we're gonna go through what Toyota actually gives you. We're gonna start off, uh, well, first of all, this little tree here, that's mine, that didn't come with it. We had a door guard on the truck. Of course, the sticker, we'll get to that in a different video, not today. Um, let's begin. We have the connectivity kit. It comes with, looks like a three-foot USB-C lightning cable, a three-foot USB-A lightning cable, a three-foot USB-C to USB-C cable, and uh, let's see, a three-foot USB-A to USB-C cable. Uh, so you get a bunch of stuff, and I th think that's all that's in there, yeah. Next up, and I was surprised about this, we have a hitch pin. Um, I'm shocked they're giving us this. I guess we're getting a little bit more for the money, I'm not sure. And then we have a box, quite heavy box, which says it is a Tacoma ball mount. So let's go ahead, I have not opened this yet and see what the Tacoma ball mount looks like. Um, awesome, it's just, and we have another hitch pin. So they gave us two, I don't know why they gave us two, but they did. This obviously slips in the back, so you can put a ball on it and be able to tow stuff. Uh, this does have the receiver for this unit in the back. So, I'm not sure if I'll put that in just yet or not, we shall see. Next up, labels. Um, well, first, this paint renewer cleaner, uh, I think they're giving this on everyone. I think I got this on the new RAV4 recently, too. But it's some sort of paint cleaner. It looks like kind of almost like a wax. I'm not sure. And then labels. We have the typical over-the-glove box label that talks about airbags, a label that says the gas tank is full, and then a label here telling you what to do if you can't, I guess, start the engine properly. This tells you how to hold your remote, which is there. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Um, if the truck won't start, I don't know. Now, as far as the key fob, I did get two of them, amazingly. This is what they look like. They are a bit different than what they used to be. So a little bit of a change there. Not a big deal, as long as it works. Then we have the first aid kit. Let's just briefly... Uh, take a look and see what's inside here. A little hard to do with one hand. A little hard to do with two hands, too. Um, wow, a bunch of stuff. Um, <laughs> looks like a mask, uh, some rubber gloves, some gauze, uh, some tapes, some band-aids, uh, maybe some sort of a tourniquet here. Oh, scissors. Uh, all kinds of stuff. I'm not going to go through that in depth. Kind of boring, in my opinion, until you need it, right? Then we have the bed cleats over here. This truck did come, I'll show you, with the rails inside. Not all Tacomas do, and I'm talking about the rails along the sides of the bed, one on each side, and then the one up here at the bulkhead or the front of the bed. Look at that Tacoma uh, lettering there. Something else a little bit different. My bed, by the way, is uh, coated. Uh, I didn't request that. It just came that way. You know, anymore you kind of take what's out of allocation. That's what I did. Now, lastly, let's take a look here. This is the, uh, I guess, the manual and all that stuff. Man, this thing is huge. Let's see what's in here. We have the owner's manual. I'm going to need this because this truck is completely new to me. Uh, we have a information and limited warranty guide, quick reference guide. We have multimedia owner's manual. We have owner's warranty rights notifications. Look how thick that is. Wow. Then we have the warranty and maintenance guide. I'm guessing this tells you when you should be changing oil and all that stuff. I did see something briefly, one of those graphs uh, that I never did like. Of course, now I can't really find it. But anyway, that will uh, tell you what you're supposed to do as far as upkeep goes. Then we have an inspection, looks like 
uh, log here, a checklist or check sheet. This is all the stuff that uh, I guess they were supposed to check. So lots of stuff there if you care to read that kind of thing. Then we have the vehicle inspection sticker. This, of course, is going to be dependent on where you live. Um, here in South Texas, you do have to have the vehicles inspected at least until January 2025. Then that's going away. I cannot wait. And lastly, what is this? This is the integrated dash cam. This truck did come with a dash cam. Uh, I did not request it. Uh, again, it's part of the uh, allocated package, I guess. Um, other things on the truck that I'm going to remove, of course, we have the dealer um, advertising on the front along with the chrome surround for the license plate. That's obviously going to go. We have a sticker in the windshield, and you may notice something taped on there. Well, let me tell you, on my way home, right after I left the dealership, I'm on the freeway in South Texas, and BAM! A stone hits my windshield and chips it. I was so pissed off, I can't believe it. You know, the roads in South Texas suck. Unbelievable. Anyway, I'm in the process of fixing that. That's why you see that little taped up area up there. Um, let's check the back real quick. I'm curious if there's any other dealer stickers on here. I didn't notice any, and it looks to me like they did not put anything else on the truck, thank goodness. Typically, there would be a tag or something here um, that would have the dealer's name. All they did was include the license plate surround or the frame that has the dealership name on it. That's it. Um, while we're back here, I did mention the spray-in bed liner. It looks like everything else in the bed is pretty much the same. I mean, we have different locations for the lights back there, um, but dimensionally it appears to be the same. I'm gonna find out because I have a bed mat to throw in here. We'll see if it works. It worked in the old one. But the tailgate itself, which by the way, is so freaking light. Um, the insert here, uh, to me, appears to be longer, wider, um, from edge to edge, I guess. So, my uh, old uh, insert that I had up there will not work, so I'll be needing a new one for that. So, uh, if you're over there at Snail Armor and you're watching this video, I need, uh, I need to get a hold of you guys. Anyway, that's uh, pretty much all I wanted to go over. This is going to have to go. Looks like an afterthought there to me. Um, all that we're going to go over right now, I just wanted to kind of show you guys uh, what we get with the truck when uh, it's brand new. Just a bunch of paperwork and a couple of uh, maybe useful accessories in bed cleats and hitch receiver. Leave a comment. Let me know. You find any of that stuff useful? I'd just be curious. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there and way more to come. Bye.